At 32 metres long, 250 tonnes and having recently undergone a multi-million dollar refit in Brisbane, Indigo was the first vessel whose crew was granted the new super yacht crew visa. The visa allows greater flexibility for super yacht owners and crews seeking to visit Australia and extend their stay in Australian waters. After we leave uh, Service Paradise we're going to head up towards Cairns and stopping at a few of the islands on the way and unfortunately Cairns will now be our last port in Australia and I get the best job, I get to drive. Um, I have an engineer and we have a chef who happens to be my wife and then I have a first mate and a deckhand and they're really responsible for the exterior cleaning of the vessel and for handling the lines and all of the outside jobs and we have one stewardess who has to look after the whole of the interior by herself and we have the owner on board who's cruising around the world. To be eligible for the visa, applicants need to be working on board a luxury sailing ship or motor vessel more than 24 metres long that isn't carrying cargo and is used for sport or pleasure. The new visas are processed by Queensland Seaport section and allow the crew members to come and go from Australia for up to 12 months. The Superyacht visa was launched in uh, April this year by Minister Evans and uh, primarily it's to uh, attract the superyacht industry to Australia. It represents $150 million a year and uh, potentially over the next five years will represent $500 million a year. Captain Watson agrees that the new visa will bring more super yachts to Australia. I think it's a fantastic idea. It's going to really help simplify the process for the captains and enable the larger yachts to get into Australia without the rigmarole of the short visas and having to renew every time. 